Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Anomaly plugin uh, to produce a parametric set of diamonds here. As you can see here, by changing any input, uh, the output is going to update. So this is going to be the increase of the radius each time, which I'm going to explain as we go forward. Uh, we're going to talk about some data management uh, techniques. So be sure to watch the video till the end because we have lots of uh, tips and tricks we're going to cover in this tutorial. Uh, here you can see we can change the number of divisions. At the end of this tutorial you will also learn how the diamonds are going to be organized uh, like this. As you can see it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3 till the end and the next group and the next and uh, this is how it's managed as the uh, tutorial ends. Okay let's get started from scratch and learn this step by step. Okay, before we start working with Grasshopper, uh, what I prefer to do is to reconstruct the logic in Rhino and see if it's working, then I bring it inside Grasshopper. So first I'm going to draw a circle here and assume we have another circle and the third circle. We just need three circles to define diamonds and then we can use this logic to go for the other circles. So for example, if I just divide these three circles into a divide uh, maybe 24 and let's go just zoom in uh, assume that we want to first make the diamonds uh, if I zoom in here you can see that the first point is going to be here and let's name these uh, points so this is the first point this is the second point and this is the third one again zero I'm going to make this with red maybe zero one and two and then this one is zero one and two uh, okay the last one is going to be somehow like a 23 because when we go one two three four till the end uh, we have 24 points so it's going to be 23 okay i'm going to also write this here and write this here okay and uh, now let's just go and connect them together first we're going to select the zero point from this first circle uh, the one uh, from the second circle then we're going to select the zero from the third circle uh, we go back uh, from the second circle so we're going to select 23 and then just uh, go back to zero and finish the connection that is going to make the diamond the next diamond has to go to two so we have to select two instead of one and then just go and make this happen okay so that is the whole algorithm and we're going to make that in grasshopper and then we're going to run the loop on the other circles okay before we construct the loop I'm going to uh, make them first in grasshopper so let's just go to the curve circle and let's put this to full name the plane of the circle is in the xy plane because uh, I just want to work in the xy plane I'm going to go to the uh, params menu and give it a point instead of a plane uh, by this I'm going to make it an xy plane and easy manage to move it around okay after defining the center let's just give it a radius obviously if we just give a one slider to this it's going to make you one circle but we want to make a series of circles uh, to make that we can go to set and use this series and the start of the series is going to be the first circle radius so this is going to be the first radius of the circle uh, the step is going to be how much we're going to increase uh, each circles radius so I'm going to also give this a number which we can change and how many circles we need maybe we need uh, three obviously three is the minimum and we can go to 30 okay and let's rename this number of circles okay uh, so now we have the first part which is uh, an algorithm a simple algorithm which we can uh, control and produce these circles okay after having these circles let's uh, go and bring them inside a loop okay let's go to the anomaly plugin and uh, there are two types of loops you can make in it uh, the first one is the classic and the second one is the fast because uh, for the debugging purposes I believe the classic is the best because you can just see 
uh, how it's going and uh, there are some uh, cons for it because you have to double click it sometimes but at least you can see what's happening but the fast is going to give you really fast results without uh, running somehow like an animation type output so let's just go to the classic start and end and make a loop and just give it to the top parts and this is going to make the loop happen and what I want to do here is to uh, give the first input I want so this is going to be the circle I prefer to uh, rename the inputs so let's just rename them and this is going to be the first input the second input is going to be uh, whatever you are adding to the inputs you have to also have it at the end and uh, just double click it to uh, make the loop run okay what we need here is the number of divisions we want on the circle so I'm going to say maybe from 3 to 30 and let's rename that uh, okay I just renamed everything here so this is the division and here we go uh, now that we have this we have to bring the circles and the divisions inside but what we need is the diamonds so I'm going to just also add another input output and rename it diamonds and then just double click this uh, this is the only input that doesn't have any input it's just going to be produced inside the loop and then go to here and it's going to be okay uh, okay uh, what we want to do here is to select three circles and I'm going to go to set list item and go to the circles select it and I'm going to say I want one two and three circles to work with and then uh, after finishing the process we're going to just shift it up so we're going to go to this circle and start again with this three circles we need uh, okay uh, what I want to do here is to divide them so I'm going to say uh, curve and division divide curve so let's just make this control C control V and make this for the division the number of division we had was here so I'm going to just give a an integer and use that as the count okay and let's just increase the number of divisions and here we go okay so if you want to see the numbers uh, better I'm going to just say uh, display point list and I'm going to bake it and now we have this uh, number for each of those circles okay uh, the first one uh, we talked about this to have uh, like the first one and go for the diamond right and then we're going to jump to two and make the diamond what I want to do here is to use a command which is really useful in the set list dispatch and use that uh, as the tool so I'm going to just say okay we're going to dispatch these points and a good thing about dispatch is that it has a default pattern which is true false so it's going to be true false true false true false till the end and then we will have a list of a and list B as you can see here so by dispatching uh, we are actually making them into two groups with the pattern true false uh, okay I just connected to all of the list A and B so we have the points separately and we can uh, know which one to connect okay because we want to make them in groups uh, if you don't know about this I'm going to put up a video which is about data management I'm going to graft each of these points because each point is going to be in a separate group so it runs uh, each time I connect it to the uh, surface command so here in the surface command we have this four point surface we have to give the four corners uh, this is going to be the first corner obviously to make it easy I'm going to draw circle here okay so that is the first one then we're going to go to the group uh, the second circle this is going to be the next one so I'm going to just connect it here and draw a circle here okay and now let's go to this third circle again this is going to be the point we need so I'm going to select it here and just draw a circle so I know that I'm 
connecting it right. And now what we want to do here is to go back to the second circle. And if I also connect this point to D, it's not going to be correct because as you can see here, we have that in the corner B. So what, how can we solve this? Uh, what we have to do is to um, shift this point into one back. So if this is like zero, if you want to see the numbers again, we can just uh, connect a point list and bake this. Uh, because I grafted it, as you can see here, we have all zeros because each of them are in one group. Let's just go without the graph and bake it. Here you can see that this is going to be zero, one, two. So what I want to do is to bring this zero back and this one to zero. So this is going to be zero, this is going to be one, this is going to be two. And we can do that with a shift list. So to do that, I'm going to say set uh, list and here we have the shift list. I'm going to shift list the list B but without grafting. Remember that because we are actually working with the uh, uh, groups uh, without grouping it we're going to have to shift it. Okay so now what I want to do here I think that it's going to be a good idea that you see the numbers after the shift and before it. So as you can see the default number is 1 it's going to shift it 1 but we want to bring it back so I'm going to say shift uh, set integer to minus one just go one backwards and the wrap is true because we have a circle we are wrapping the numbers which is going to be okay and now I'm going to just give a graph to this one and for the point list I'm going to just show you the uh, shift list so let's just bake this time and now you can see that zero is going to be one and it goes backwards the seven is zero one two and exactly what we need so we just have to now uh, connect this one to D and as you can see here we have the circle and it's completely closing. So that is exactly uh, what's happening. Uh, let's check out the algorithm. If it's working we can just turn off everything and the loop is uh, as you can see here if we give it 17 because we don't have even numbers uh, there's going to be a problem so I'm going to put this to even number just double click the number slider and put it to even and now we can just have this even distribution of the divisions so now it's going to work for the first circle the addition to the radius and the number we have but remember we have to has obviously have three at least Okay, after producing the first set of diamonds, it's the time to make the loop, which is really interesting. And you have to know the logic. Remember that we didn't use these uh, points, so I'm just going to put them back. When you download this example file, you can download it from our website. Uh, you can actually see that these are not going to work, and we just worked with these four points. Okay, now we just have to shift the circle one forward so to do that uh, what I want to do here is to go again to set list shift list and say shift the circles one uh, obviously we don't want to wrap this because when we shift it we don't need the first one so I'm going to say wrap right click and invert it that means false uh, as you can see here there is a set boolean when I invert it from uh, true it's going to go to false now it's just like a false input now I can go here and give that to the circles. We want to uh, record the diamonds. First I'm going to flatten it because I want all of those diamonds in one group. Go to the diamonds and remember that you have to also right click here and record the data. For the division it's going to be uh, all uh, always the same so I'm going to give the same number of divisions to the divisions and our loop is uh, working now let's just make the repeat to uh, from 0 to 10 and how many times do we want to do this right so I'm going to give that to the repeat and assume we go to the 1 and as you can see this is going to run the loop but there's a problem so if you go back remember that you have to always double click the loop start this is about the classic loop but if you use the fast, this is not going to happen. It's going to run really fast. Okay, anyway, uh, when I go to uh, step one, as you can see here, there is a problem. And the reason here is that we use the, this point as the start, the zero, and then it's going to shift it to the next circle and use this point again to draw it. So what we want to do here is to also shift the division points one as we are running, and then it's going to 
uh, work uh, easily. So here let's go to the uh, actually algorithm and what we want to do is to uh, shift the, all of those points by one each time we run the uh, loop. So I'm going to just say uh, shift list and let's just give that here and what we want to do is to shift it based on the counter the counter is really great because it's going to uh, show you where it is now it's one so I'm going to just give this counter to the dispatch uh, sorry to the shift list double click it here and as you can see here it's working because it's shifting it one if it's like zero and double click it you can see it's okay when we go to one it's going to shift it one then two and then as you can see we are increasing it uh, the problem here is that we have uh, made this four but the circles are finished here because when we give it a six uh, six number of circles we only will have one two three and four layers right so obviously this is not going to give us correct results and it's just uh, ruining the diamond so here obviously you can see we have to make this uh, six minus three because even minus two which is four is going to be wrong so I'm going to say uh, math minus six minus three and give this to the loop and just double click this and now you can see that when I change the circles it's going to run easily and give us the correct result just double click this and just turn off everything the only thing we need here are the diamonds so I'm going to just give the surface to the diamonds and also right click and simplify I usually do that and you can see that we have four groups of 11 uh, if you wanted to see the grouping I can uh, connect an area to it and go to display and just say point list you can see it's working so it's like 0 1 2 3 till the end and the next group is 0 1 2 3 till the end and so on so this is also really interesting it's going to make like somehow like a spiral of points uh, just check this out if I select all of the uh, index 0 of this uh, output you can see that we are actually having one of those as an output we can work with this we can give a number slider to this uh, index if we wanted to just select one of those and work with it but I just wanted to give you an output of how it's uh, managed as uh, we get output from the loop end. Uh, I hope this tutorial was useful if you want to also download this example file you can head down to our website and uh, thanks for watching see you next time bye